Welcome into Mock Trial Masterclass, your guide to controlling the courtroom. I'm Luke, and I want you to be a Mock Trial Master. Let's talk about how you can make that happen. Being a witness in Mock Trial isn't easy, and being a really, really good witness, a Mock Trial Master witness, is even harder. So in this video, I'm going to give you a trick that you can use as a witness to really make life difficult for your attorney on cross-examination. In fact, I think that this trick is really, really simple, and it's also the most underused trick for witnesses in my trial. Are you ready to hear it? Let's get to it. So if you've ever testified on cross-examination before as a witness, you know that you're constantly trying to do a few things. You're trying to make your side of the case look a little bit better than the attorney who's crossing you is trying to make it look. And you're also trying to make life difficult for your attorney, right? You don't want the cross-examination to just be a series of uh, short questions from the attorney that you answer yes to and, and that's all it is, right? You want to make life difficult for them. Well, this trick that we're about to talk about lets you do both of those things. And here's the trick. When you get asked a question on cross-examination that the answer is not a yes, tell them that. Simply say, no, that is not correct. Now, you hear that and you might be thinking to yourself, well, what in the world, Luke? That's the big trick that, that you're giving us? Well, yeah, I am giving you that because over the years of watching mock trial, it doesn't happen very often. There's so many times where a witness could simply answer a question with, no, that's not correct, but instead they launch into this long explanation where they say, well, you know, if you put two and two together and if you come over here and do this and do that, you know, it's not really, right. Feel free as a witness to scrap all of that because you don't need it. It runs the clock endlessly. It makes you look evasive like you're trying to escape the question. And it's giving your attorney way too much ammunition. So when you're in those moments where your attorney asks a question where the answer definitely isn't yes, but perhaps it's not completely a no, just look at them and say, no, that's not correct. And think about what will happen when you do that because your attorney's gonna have a couple of really bad options in that situation. Bad option number one is they can ask you, well, well why is that not correct? And, and they get really angry and really defensive. Well, when that happens, they've just opened the door for you to launch into an explanation without being interrupted. So you can pause, take a breath, take your time, and look at the jury and give them a great explanation. The other option, which is probably equally as bad as they say, uh, okay, and, and, and they clearly were thrown off guard by your answer, and they move on. I promise you, if you implement this in your witness performance, it will throw attorneys off their game. They're not expecting that, right? When they ask those controversial questions, they're expecting you to launch into this big, giant explanation. So don't give them that. Don't give them the big, giant, windy explanation. Just say, no, that's not correct. Now, only use that if it's actually not correct. If the answer really is yes, then say yes. Maybe you provide an explanation, but say yes if the answer is yes. But if the answer is not yes, if it's a no or a close to no, then say no. Say no, that is not correct, and take the power back for yourself. This is so simple, but I promise that if you implement this into your witness performance, it can be a huge game changer. Before we close out this video, I want to remind you that you can schedule coaching with me. I'd be happy to help you out on your witness performance, or if you're not a witness and you're an attorney, I'd love to work with you as well. Whether we work one-on-one, -on -one, where we meet on Zoom, just me and you, one-on-two -on -two with me and you and a teammate, or whether I meet with your entire team over Zoom, I'd be happy to help out with anything you need help with. Just click the link in the description and I would be happy to have a coaching scheduled with you. So again, this strategy that we've talked about in this video isn't groundbreaking, isn't earth shattering, but no one does it. And I don't really know why no one does it. And so I promise you, if you implement this into your witness performance, it will set you so far ahead of the competition because no one does this, but you will, and it's gonna make you a mock trial master. 